In this Photoshop photo effects tutorial, I will show you how to create glitch distortion effect in Photoshop. Open the image you want to edit in Photoshop. Then go to edit menu. Open presets manager. Select patterns from the preset type drop down menu. Now download glitch patterns from my website link given in the description then click the load button and navigate to the location on your computer where patterns are saved click done to save the files now add a new blank layer rename the layer to glitch distort or displace Then go to edit and fill the layer with custom pattern. Select the first glitch pattern that we saved earlier and click ok to apply. Next step, duplicate background layer and rename the layer to glitch1. Move the layer to the top, convert layer to smart object to keep it non-destructive. Right click on the layer and create clipping mask so any adjustments that we add to the layer affects only the below layer. Now go to filter menu, choose distort and select wave filter. Keep wave type square number of generations 3 there is no exact settings to this just adjust sliders randomly and keep an eye on the preview image in this case i will set wavelength minimum 9 and maximum 899 amplitude minimum 213 and maximum 479 Scale horizontal 19 and vertical 2. Keep undefined areas. Repeat edge pixels. Click OK. Next step, duplicate background layer again and rename the layer to glitch 2. Move the layer to the top. Convert layer to smart object. Now change the layer tone to red. Open the layer blending style options. Uncheck both the green and blue channels. Click OK to apply changes. Now open filter menu, choose distort and select wave filter again. Keep wave type square number of generations 4 wavelength minimum 817 and maximum 841 amplitude minimum 1 and maximum 60 Scale horizontal 22 and vertical 2. Keep undefined areas, repeat edge pixels, click OK. Next step, duplicate background layer again and rename the layer to glitch 3. Move the layer to the top. Convert layer to smart object. Now we need to convert this layer into blue tone. Open the layer blending style options. Uncheck both the red and green channels. Click OK to apply the changes. Go to filter menu, 
choose distort and apply wave filter again. Keep wave type square, number of generations 3. Wavelength minimum 39 and maximum 984. Amplitude minimum 1 and maximum 117. Scale horizontal 31 and vertical 3. Keep undefined areas, repeat edge pixels, click OK. Now add some motion blur to the layer. Go to blur menu, select motion blur. Keep angle 0 degree and distance around 90 pixels. Click OK. Now let's add screen flickering and glitchy horizontal lines that appear near the top of the monitor. Add a new blank layer. Rename the layer to horizontal lines. Then go to edit and fill the layer with custom pattern. Select the second glitch pattern that we saved at the starting of the tutorial. Click OK to apply. Change layer blending to overlay and lower the opacity to 50%. Now add center light to the effect. Go to adjustments and add gradient fill adjustment. Select black to transparent gradient preset. Change starting color of the gradient. Click the left color stop and change its color to dark gray. Similarly, change end color of the gradient to white. Change gradient fill style to radial. Check reverse option to keep the light at the center. Select angle between 30 to 40 degree. and click OK. Now change layer blending to overlay. Rename gradient fill layer to lighting. To change the position of the lighting, double click on the gradient fill to open the dialog. Drag and place the light to your preference. Final step, apply color lookup adjustment to color tone the image. In this case, I will select horror blue look to give scary kind of effect. If you want more intense horror or scary type of movie poster, then add Hue and saturation adjustment to the glitch effect and set saturation to minus 100. Similarly, desaturate the glitch 2 and 3 layers. That's it, we are done. Here is before and after results. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. I will catch you next time. Take care.